Misha Kodrick Reese is said to have had a near two decade love affair with Jamaica. She was captivated by the island's beauty and charm. Educator Constance Bogle, who has been best friends with Kodrick Reese since 1995, says Michelle always saw Jamaica as a home. With speculation now arrive that a burnt body, which has been found in a cane field in Montego Bay on Monday, is that of Michelle, the police will be using forensic science to make a determination. Her mother, San Fernando Mayor Marlene Kudre, has taken with her Michelle's dental records, which investigators will use along with the DNA to determine if the body found is indeed that of the missing woman. Friends are convinced that it is Michelle. They identified her through her braces, but the police say they need more scientific evidence. Kudre Greaves first came to Jamaica in 1995 as a trainee manager aligned to the Sandals hotel chain. When her stint at Sandals ended in 1997, instead of returning to Trinidad, she sought and secured employment with Air Jamaica, where she became friends with Bogle. The educator says Michelle was easy to get along with, and they developed a natural friendship. During her time at Air Jamaica, Michelle met and fell in love with a Jamaican man. When her marriage broke up, Michelle's estranged husband returned to Jamaica, but she remained in Trinidad, where she took a teaching job. However, she always remained in close contact with her Jamaican friends, telling them she planned to return home soon, home meaning Jamaica. Last November, on a visit to Jamaica, she had said she had felt so at home that she wanted to return to the island to live full-time. She returned in January and got a temporary job as a Spanish teacher at Cornwall College. She was in negotiation with the administration at Cornwall College to take up another job offer there in September when she disappeared. What happened remains a mystery, but police are hoping that her mother's visit will help provide some answers, at least about the burned body. That's just a small part of a big puzzle. They still have to determine why Michelle disappeared and if she was killed, who did it. For CNC3, I'm Melissa Williams.